Lee Jae-hoon is a South Korean actor who makes many viewers appreciate him and his talent. Once you get to know him, it's really hard not to fall for his charms. Most of the movies and dramas he stars in convey meaningful messages. They raise awareness about societal issues, make people think again about real crimes, or pay homage to real people in their achievements. He described himself as a person who watches films, talks about films, and fills his life that way. Check out these 10 facts you might not know about Lee Jae-hoon. He was a biotechnology student. Lee Jae-hoon was born on July 4, 1984, in Seoul, South Korea. He actually first studied biotechnology at Korea University, one of the top three universities in South Korea, and thus extremely hard to get into, which means he must have scored really high on his university entrance exam. While he was studying there in his second year, he suddenly realized what he really wants to do in life and that was acting. He then transferred to the Korea National University of Arts in order to pursue his dream of becoming an actor. He gained his breakthrough in 2011. The actor spent a long time in the shadows before capturing anyone's attention. He has started back in 2006, while many other actors his age have probably gained fame way before he did. He appeared in more than 15 student shorts and indie films before he had his breakthrough in an indie film called Bleak Night. He received critical raves for his performances as a manipulative alpha male in the film. He trained at least six days a week for four months for Move to Heaven. Lee Jae-hoon is passionate about his work. This might be a given for an outstanding actor, but it needs to be mentioned nonetheless. He truly loves his art and always gives it his all. As an underground MMA fighter in the Netflix drama Move to Heaven, he revealed the extent of preparation that was required for the role. He shared, since being an actor is already a showy career, I work out consistently and do not slack off. However, since the character of sung is an underground MMA fighter, he has to show himself shirtless. I figured there would need to be something clearly defined, so I began working out really hard about four months before filming began. He also said that he trained six times a week, and it got to the point where he thought it was excessive. He wanted to show his peak, so he really worked hard and exercised a lot. In the 2017 movie Anarchist from Colony, he starved himself for five weeks in order to portray an independent activist who protested by not eating any food, just to name a few examples that show his immense dedication. He filmed without a stunt double in most of the taxi driver scenes. Regarding his first experience with action as the main focus of the taxi driver drama, there were many things he had to prepare beforehand. He shared that he went to action school, practiced his teamwork with the martial arts team, and took care of his stamina. He elaborated in an interview, since we have to showcase realistic action, I didn't hold back. There were a lot of action scenes using my bare hands, so there were many cases in which I got hurt without knowing. There were times I felt pressure because of that, but I felt pleased and thought that it was worthwhile when the results came out. Since action is a large element in Taxi Driver, I'll do my best to film fierce action scenes for the remaining scenes. He revealed that his character is also charismatic while chasing down villains with his car. Explaining that the car chase scenes are points to watch out for in the drama, the actor shared that he filmed most of the scenes himself without a stunt double, allowing him to personally experience drifting, overtaking lanes, and speeding. He said, I think I'll be able to showcase an extravagant car chase to my heart's content. Of course, this was possible because of guidance from the martial arts team. It was fun to some extent, but I felt once again that I should never do this in real life. He is also a director and screenwriter. Lee Jae-hoon loves watching movies and talking about movies so much that led him to become a director and screenwriter. This transformation he showed in Blue Happiness, a part of the Unframed project in 2021. The short film reflects the realistic concerns of young adults in their 20s and 30s through the boom of investment techniques such as stock trading. As the director, Lee Jae-hoon commented that Blue Happiness is a project which he received a lot of help from actors he has relationships with. That's why he thought that he wanted those actors to stand out, and that's what he kept as the main priority. He also revealed that even while writing the script, he had Jong Hae-in in mind to cast. He was shocked every time he monitored Jong Hae-in's scenes. Without him, Lee Jae-hoon thought it would be difficult for this project to have come out like that. He has his own entertainment agency. Due to his success, he finally made big plans for the future, which is why he is now not only an actor, director, and screenwriter, but also the head of an entertainment agency. In 2021, he has set up his own agency called Companion. 
The name means both the character on for warmth, the character on for wholeness, and the word on in English, as in switch on off. It is pronounced similar to the English word companion, which is meant to signify that this is a place where people on the same wavelength can come together. He can sing and dance. Ija Huan has a really sweet singing voice that especially suits heartfelt songs. He always prepares songs for his fans and performs them during his fan meetings. Back in his days as a student, he joined a hip-hop dance club at university. He has showcased his dancing skills on variety shows or behind the scenes on film sets. While he served his military service in the Seoul Metropolitan Police Special Promotional Unit from 2012 to 2014, he and his team also performed at university festivals and on other occasions. He once fainted when he tried to smoke. Since one of his movie characters smoked, he thought he should master the role and inhaled a couple of times but ended up fainting and was rushed to the hospital. He shared unhappy together, I was filming a movie when I was 27 as a friend who smokes. I had never smoked in my life, but I wanted to play the role well, so I practiced inhaling a cigarette and spitting. While smoking, we had to do multiple takes, so after eight takes, I passed out and was taken to the emergency room where I threw up, had an IV drip, and faded in and out. He earned the nickname 19 plus person. In addition to move to heaven being rated 19 plus due to its depiction of smoking and violence, he also appeared in the 19 plus drama Taxi Driver, which includes many scenes of a provocative or cruel nature. This has playfully earned the actor the nickname 19 plus person. In an interview, he commented, I could not have thought of that nickname. I don't think it'll be easy for me to give my opinion with regards to the classification of ratings. The way he overcame a slump. For Yi Zhe Hoon, an actor has to make an effort to do a good job at choosing and accepting the next assignment and breaking boundaries to show viewers a better performance every time. Although people may get uncomfortable and think that he's weird or that he always chooses strange things, he believes growth comes from new ways of thinking, and that mindset is what creates an environment for healthy visual art. Regarding how he overcomes slumps in acting, he shared to Kong Han Na's volume up, if a moment came when my acting just wasn't working out, there have been many times where I didn't know what to do and got extremely upset and frustrated at myself. These days, even if those moments come, I think that time keeps moving and does not stop. Then I give myself courage by saying, even if I don't do well, how badly could I do? I think the best solution is to give myself positive energy to continue my acting and think to myself, you can do it. Try it. So what?